All right, hi everybody. My name is Gina Gray and I'm with Call McGoy, which is a Stagwell agency out of Minneapolis. And we're coming to you from Stagwell's content studio live at CES 2023 in Las Vegas. And I'm joined today by my friend Catherine Lucas from State Street. And we're just gonna have a kind of a pretty casual conversation. I love it. I love it. Great, Thank so you. Catherine. You're so sweet for having me. Oh, we're so, so excited sweet. to have you. So my oh. first question for you is just tell us a little bit about you, your background and your role at State Street. <laughs> Talking about me, I love that. Okay, so I, uh, I'm of course at State Street. I look after platform, software and technology marketing for State Street Corporation. Essentially what I do is I look at the narrative and the go-to-market strategies for all the transformative work that's happening in the financial services industry right now. Um, oh goodness, what else? My team and my husband will probably tell you I am an unashamed extrovert. I'm a people person. <laughs> and I love just going through life with a positive attitude, trying to empower as many people as I can along the way. I've been called an extra extrovert, so I feel like you and I are going to you know, be good friends. Excellent. Yes. Knew it from the start. So here we are at CES and curious about what brought you here and what are you doing at State Street to transform in your role and your company? I think maybe, you know, kind of taking it a little bit broadly, during my time at State Street, I've really worked hard to build a reputation of connecting and collaborating with people both inside and outside the organization, right? It's, it's so important when you partner with agencies, with clients, with, you know, colleagues across the business, not just marketing, but sales, service, IT, technology, finance, legal even, they're all friends, everyone's a friend. Um, and I think really what I'm seeing is this, we're in a situation where these powerful partnerships can form this kind of vital coalition to really transform the business and begin to bring and really deliver true value, I think, and much better experiences to our clients. I, I really don't believe that it can just be marketing doing marketing anymore. It has to be more than that. We can't just say, well, this is always the way it's been done. We need to step out the box. We need to talk to everyone that we can. We need to partner with them in order to really transform. How are you? I love that. And I think, you know, the role of marketing has changed so drastically. So how are you fostering that collaboration or that innovation within the organization? You know, it's, it's a great question because it's not easily done, right? And it's, it's trust and transparency. And I think one kind of leads to the other. If you're transparent and you're open with your colleagues in IT, for example, I think that's going to build this really trusting relationship where you can go to each other and instead of, you know, just kind of passing in the night, you can have these really deep, meaningful conversations about your MarTech stack and how they can influence, how they can support, how we can help them get their technology message out. I think it's really, again, just developing these partnerships, talking to people as human beings, same thing that we do for our marketing, right? Making sure it's not B2B, it's not B2C. It's human to human. Same thing it. internally. Oh We're God, all just it. people. I love it. So here's a kind of a loaded question. Oh, oh um, what, does impact, love those. what does impact mean to you? Oh, I do love that question. I have to say, I do like that. And I think in financial services, it's a really, really important one to consider right now. We, goodness, you know, we see the finance industry transforming so rapidly to a digital economy. And I think there's a responsibility that comes with that. And we have to stop and we have to ask ourselves, what is, at what cost does impact come to us, right? And I think very much so, what I see is us as true stewards of the brand and of the narrative. We have to stop and we have to ask ourselves, what do we want to do? Do we want to captivate our audience or do we want to educate our audience? Of course, we can sit there, we can develop amazing marketing campaigns, we can develop amazing advertising campaigns, communication campaigns, whatever the case may be. And they can have all the flash in the world. But you know, at, at State Street, we're sitting here trying to build the most innovative financial markets of the 21st century. And when I sit there from a marketing perspective, I, I have to think, you know, the thing that is going to have the most impact is if I can develop marketing that is useful and transparent from an education perspective. Yeah, I love that. And so talk to me a little bit about 
what you saw here at CES. Oh, so much, <laughs> so much. That, I mean, maybe there's trends, maybe there's insights, maybe there's technologies, because again, financial mm -hmm. services, just the fact that you're here and inspired, like, what are you seeing? What excites you? You know, I, I kind of love, I love everything that I'm seeing. It's so funny, I've had this, you know, kind of needling thought in my mind for probably about the last year or so, and I'm seeing it manifest here at CES. And it's this idea really that marketing is so much more than just marketing anymore, right? Of course it's branding, of course it's advertising, but there's now this additional layer. There's listening, there's personalization. It goes back to that collaboration that I was talking about, you know, with call centers, repair centers, service centers, everyone, all the employees in the organization. And then I think what I'm seeing is you layer on these additional innovations of the metaverse, Web 3.0, AI, NFTs, all of these amazing things. And I think what you have is you have this really amazing opportunity to create this powerful situation that I think if done right, and if done very mindfully, I think can create and deliver not only these amazing experiences for clients, but it can also empower your clients. And I think that's that's just a really exciting vision for me. Is there anything you're gonna take right now and you're like, I'm can't wait to get home? It's the laundry don't, list. Maybe you don't want to tell anybody list. either. You should don't see my notebook. Us. My notebook is like this thick, and it's it's because you know my my notes on my iPhone, the poor little app just yep, like yep. They kind of collapse. We'll work on that on the plane tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. I've got my weekend homework. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you, Catherine. Oh. This was lovely to meet you she and Chad. Great. And thank you for the time and 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 for and everybody else for tuning in from again from the Stagwell Content Studio at CES. Mm -hmm.